I'm using the Shrinky Dinks material from Michaels and we're using the frosted and it says that it's good for ages 5 to 100 and it comes with 10 8x10 sheets and this one is meant for baking. Now I have tried using the heat gun and it kind of works but it's a little bit more difficult so we are going to bake these in the oven. Now I have my Shrinky Dinks material. This is my 8x10 sheet. Um, there's a rough side and a smooth side. I don't think there's any um, right or wrong way of putting this down on your mat. I'm putting the rough side down because I think it may stick better with the adhesive. Um, just note that the shiny side is going to be the top of your image. So if you do shiny side down and you're doing words, you're going to want to do everything in reverse. But if you're doing the rough side down, then you should be good to go with doing words or images without having to use the flip option. Alright, so we're at the machine. We're just going to load in our mat. We're going to use multi-cut when we're using this uh, Shrinky Dinks material and our deep cut blade. So to get to the multi-cut screen, you're going to push settings and you're going to push OK until you get to the multi-cut screen. And that's it right here. So we can now set our multi-cut to two, three, or four times. So that means it'll cut two times, three times, or four times. And we can just use these arrows to um, choose how many times we want our machine to cut the image out. So I'm just going to do multi-cut three and then I'm going to push settings to exit and then I'm going to make sure that I put my multi-cut on. Now if you shut your machine off and then you turn it back on, your multi-cut settings that you um, you do in your settings menu is what's going to be default. So if you have it on four, next time you use your multi-cut, when you push multi-cut on, it will cut four times. So just remember to change it for every material that you're doing. Now if you're doing the same material over and over again, then that's great. Your settings will all be saved. Alright, so my multi-cut is on and I have my size set to 3 inches. I have my speed set to 3, the third notch. My pressure all the way up and I have my deep cut blade in and it's at 6. Um, now I'm going to push my image on my keypad and we'll get a little preview here and then we can go ahead and push cut. So I went ahead and cut out some more images. I cut out a turtle and an octopus as well. But I'm just going to show you how to get your Shrinky Dink image out of the material. Um, it is very brittle and it will um, crack or rip so you want to be very careful. Now I did multi-cut three and I find that works great. If you want to do an extra one, multi-cut four, um, that'll work too and it, it'll just make it easier to pop out. But you just want to um, take your finger along the edge and just be careful and lightly lift up. So, and you might find that it sticks. Just be very careful when you're taking it out. Okay, so here are the three different images that I cut out. Um, the octopus actually worked out good. Now when we go to shrink it, it may be another story. So I wanted to do a little test run with it. So we'll see what happens. Now we again, we have our shiny um, soft side and our rough side. We're going to color the rough side. Um, now you can use permanent markers. I'm going to be using Sharpies. Um, or you can use pencil crayons or any other permanent um, ink. You do not want to use water-based markers or water-based ink on here because it will just rub off. Alright, so they're all colored. Now let's head over to the oven. Okay, so um, I've preheated my oven to 325 and we're just going to put them on a baking sheet like so and just watch them shrink. Alright, so I have my little charms. Now, if you want to string these through um, string or ribbon or make a charm bracelet, you want to make sure that you punch your holes in your material before you shrink them. If you don't, then there's no way to punch a hole after. Uh, for this project, I'm just going to be sticking them on my card. But again, if you want to make it a charm bracelet or a charm, um, if it doesn't already have a hole in it, because some of the cartridges do have a charm feature on the keypad, um, 
but you want to make sure that you punch your hole. Okay, so I'm going to assemble my card. All right, so I have my twine on and my little boat, and now I'm going to adhere my little charm. Now I've decided just to go with the octopus for this card, but I can use these two for other projects. So I'm going to use um, some glue dots, um, some mini glue dots from Stamping Up to adhere my octopus on my card. Now the reason I'm using glue dots is because I want to make sure that it's a clear, sticky adhesive. If you use pop dots um, or any other type of adhesive, you want to make sure that it is clear. Um, if it's not, you will see it through it. Uh, you can also use some really good glue like um, crystal effects or whatever to make it stick. And there you have it. There's my simple little card um, using shrinking's material.